year is student who is going to be traveling to the UK shortly for an undergraduate or a postgraduate program and uh, you have lots and lots of how-to questions, then you found the right video. Hi, I'm Gindhari Bhalla and with over 25 years of experience under my belt in helping young Indian students make career choices at UK universities, I will be holding your hand every inch of the journey. I will be uploading videos which are going to be relevant to your academic, personal and social experiences. In addition, you can also interact with me through the email or you can leave a comment below and I will answer your questions. I know it's a time of great excitement and you're looking forward to doing new things, but I'm sure you're a bit nervous as well. However, if you follow my checklist through, I assure you, you'll have no reason whatsoever for those nerves. So today's video is all about the preparations that you need to make before you travel for your studies to the UK. These tips are primarily for UK, but um, they would be relevant to students traveling to any country for studies. Um, at this stage, let's assume that you've already sorted out your air ticket, your visa and your accommodation. Even though you have paid a health surcharge as part of your visa fee, which entitles you to healthcare in the UK, you have to remember that it doesn't include um, dental care or uh, optical care. So, um, my advice is that before you leave, you get a dental, um, an eye and a basic health checkup done. Get any prescription glasses changed that need changing, get any dental work that needs doing and while you're at it, get a tetanus shot. That way for the next six months, you will be worry free for any minor nicks and cut you might get. Make a list of medicines that you want to take with you for minor issues like headaches and tummy aches, muscle pain, um, you know, a nasal decongestant, band-aids and so on and so forth. Any supplements that you take regularly, take a small stash of those with you. All of these of course will be available over the counter to you in uh, the UK but they can be very expensive. So it's better to carry at least a small quantity with you. Additionally, I would also advise you to take at least one course each of antibiotics for a viral, a tummy bug um, and even um, you know, for an injury which might get uh, infected. If you are on any prescription medication which is going to continue, it is a absolutely essential that you take all your prescriptions from your doctor at home as well as any test reports so that you can show those to your doctor in the UK. Um, if you want to watch um, a whole video on how to deal with health issues, heavens forbid should they occur in the UK, uh, you can watch a video I'm going to upload a little later on um, how to deal with health issues in the UK. Being a student often means being on a tight budget and even if you're not, why should you not take advantage of all the benefits that are available to you as a student? Um, to begin with, you could register to get an ISIC card, uh, which is the International Student's Identity Card and this entitles you to um, 150,000 and more discounts in restaurants, in cinemas, in bookstores, in retail stores and this is accepted in over 125 plus countries including India. Um, however, if you want a more specific card for the UK only, um, which of course will work in other countries but has more discounts for UK students, uh, you could take an NUS Extra uh, slash ISIC card. So this has more discounts around the UK. The ISIC card that you can buy online in India from isic.co.in um, costs you all of 500 rupees and the NUS Extra card can also be bought from the website on the screen and uh, it has a couple of plans which you can go and choose from.
the very first thing that you're likely to do the moment you land um, at the other end in UK is to of course ring home to reassure your family of your safe arrival in the UK for which you need an active phone. Here you have two options. One, you could take your current um, active phone number and activate an international roaming plan for a few days while you're exploring the various deals which are available in UK before you get a UK number. However, this can be quite expensive. Um, or you could land. Most airports um, will have a shop selling. Mostly these are uh, W. H. Smith, which is a bookstore. Come, this uh, you know they will sell knickknacks uh, similar that you would require during travel. And you could uh, buy a SIM card from a company like Libara that uh, does bundles. Um, for SMS, for data, for local and international calling minutes and so on and so forth. This you could even buy before you leave um, online and you could just activate it. But do, do remember that uh, your halls of residence, your university and most buses in UK have a free Wi-Fi for students to use and you could just as easily uh, make you know facetime or make uh, whatsapp calls back home if you wanted to however if you will be ringing a landline number back home then uh, you do require the international calling minutes however uh, these are the companies this is one of the companies rather which has the cheaping cheapest calling rates to india to inquire with your um, university if they um, offer a service where you would be received and transported to your university or your hall of residence. Most universities which um, are located in cities which do not have an international airport, they do uh, you know, offer this service. However, if your university is in a large city with an international airport like London and they do not offer um, this service, I would highly recommend that you plan your travel from the airport to your accommodation ahead of time. There are a number of journey planners which are available online for uh, most cities in the UK and uh, you should make use of those before you go so that you know exactly what you're doing and you're not standing around the airport wondering what to do when you arrive. Um, also if your university does offer a pickup service for you then uh, you would end up saving a packet on the travel uh, if you want to watch uh, you know a video on how to travel around London as a student or indeed how to travel around the UK as a student in the next couple of weeks I will be posting videos on that so look out for those it is imperative that you realistically budget for your expenses when you're going to be in the UK. You must budget for your initial one-time expenses as well as your ongoing weekly expenses. If you want to watch a video um, on student expenses and budgeting, you can do it by clicking on the link on screen now. So now that you're booked, with an airline, you need to go to their website to check what is the actual baggage allowance that you're allowed and also how many pieces of luggage that uh, you are allowed to carry. You have to understand that you will be traveling at a time when a lot of students will be traveling and airlines can be very, very strict regarding this aspect. Um, while you're there, you can also make a request for a special meal if you have a special requirement or just make a choice from um, the available choices online. And uh, 24 hours before you actually travel, you can check in online um, and they give you an option to select your seat so you can grab the seat of your choice. I would highly recommend that you make a packing list before you start packing. Um, this is going to give you an opportunity to make sure that you um, don't miss anything that is super, super important. And also reconsider what you're packing. Uh, you may or may not need those things or you indeed use those things. Um, and you could possibly buy some of them in the UK when you need them. 
remember baggage allowance is going to be at a premium um, if you want to watch a video on how and what to pack for a hassle-free um, journey to the UK for your studies you can click the link on the screen now finally um, get a haircut manicure pedicure and any other grooming service that you want to as close to your date of departure as possible so that um, you have enough time in the UK to find a place which is going to serve you as well for the same note that in this video if I recommended any organizations or products uh, it's only because of my experience not because this video is sponsored in any way at all and um, if you have found this video useful and you'd like to watch more videos full of information and tips for a student studying overseas um, please uh, click on the subscribe button as well as on the bell icon so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Thanks and bye!